Hey everyone, Joe here. Today I'd like to talk about all these numbers on the front of your lens. Now I'm going to explain what these mean, so that help you better understand your lens and stuff when you go to buy more or upgrade, or just better understand what the heck they mean in general. So let's get in here and get to this. Let's first start about the ones on the side that most people see, like this particular one that says 18 to 55 mm. That has 18 to 55 millimeter. That is the focal range of this particular lens. Now, what this means is on 18, you can zoom uh, way out, but you see more of the area around, you'll get you a wider you know, view of everything. Now, when you zoom in to say 55 on this, that means it zooms in closer to your subject or whatever you're focusing on. So that really you know, helps you know, zoom in on somebody taking a focus, you know, their portrait or something other, or you can zoom out, say, 18, and get like group shots and stuff in. Okay. That also means if you look for a lens that says a uh, particular lens has like 18 to 200, 18 to 250, uh, that means that lens has a longer focal range, so let you zoom in much, much closer. And those are normally called, uh, you know, super telephoto lens. Now this is just a standard zoom lens here. This is a common one, the 18 to 55 STM from Canon. I see another lens here that's fairly common, new on the market, but still a very common lens. And say so this particular one says just 50 mm. That means there's no zooming to this one. This is what they call a prime lens. So if you want to zoom in closer to your subject with this particular lens, it means you have to move your feet closer to the subject. So this is a very good lens, uh, but it has a, there's a reason a lot of people may want to go with prime lens over a zoom lens. Now, let's get back to this particular one. Some other numbers on here that might interest people. Up here, what says 1 colon 3.5 to 5.6. You normally find these around the front of your lens here, sometimes on the side. But this right here is your aperture. Now, what the aperture is is those little blades inside your o lens that zoom in smaller, zoom in bigger. They let in more or less light. Now, an aperture, say 3.5 on this particular lens, is what's considered the fastest aperture, which is also the biggest aperture on this lens. So, 5.6, on the other hand, is actually smaller. So, if you have 3.5 and you go down to 5.6, it actually zooms in, uh, well, closes in smaller. Now, this particular other lens I had over here, and as I explained to you, there might be a reason you want this one, has an aperture of 1.8. So that means it has a much larger opening to let in much more light. One side effect of that is, if you have a much larger aperture, you can also get much better out of focus backgrounds. So a lot of people want to get those nice blurry backgrounds when shooting portraits and stuff outdoors. And this particular type of lens right here will really help you get that, you know, will get it much easier. Now, the apertures on this say at 3.5, 5.6, this varies. Some of these do have so what they call a constant uh, aperture. So particular, like say a common lens is like the Canon 24 to 70 or 24 to 105 millimeter f4 lens that means it has a constant aperture it means it doesn't matter if you're zoomed in or zoomed out it, uh, the aperture can stay constant same at f4 now this particular lens and like most lenses this one can go up to say f22 which is an aperture of 22 so it doesn't necessarily mean if you put this in at 5.6 if you zoom in and zoom out it's going to change it's just at 18, the fastest it can go is at 3.5, whereas at 55 millimeter, the fastest this lens can go is f 5.6. Okay, so that means at f 5.6, it's not letting in a lot of light. Unlike the 50 here, that is f 1.8, so it lets in quite a bit of light on the through this lens. Now there are faster lenses than f 1.8. And uh, f1.8 is just a very common aperture, you know. There are f1.4s, uh, quite, quite a few of them, uh, even some f1.2s. Now, there are even faster lenses. There are uh, lenses that get like 0.96, 0.9. 
They're much harder to find and normally very costly and normally not, you know, as what you really want to use for most day and day portraits. They're more artistically uh, engineered lenses because the uh, depth of field on it, say like anything around F1, is so razor thin that it would be very hard to, if you focus in on the eyes, the nose, tip of the nose would actually be out of focus. So they're not, that's the reason a lot of people don't really make them. They're just not very really practical. But F1.8 is about where most people would want to get. You know, like I said, there are F1.4s and F1.2s out there. But you really, F1.8 for the most people is just ideally perfect. Uh, matter of fact, I shoot around F2.8 on <laughs> most of my stuff. But anyway, I thought yeah, I'd explain what all these numbers mean on the lens. Hopefully it uh, help people understand a little bit better what they're getting when they go to buy a lens. So you always want to get a lens that has the fastest you know, aperture you can. Uh, F3.5, 5.6 is common. You know, uh, The Sigma uh, lens that I'm shooting on right now is the, the, the 17 to 70 uh, contemporary lens it has aperture of f 2.8 to f4 so it's a little bit faster than this lens which is why i'm using it so but i thought i'd point that out there so everybody you know kind of get the idea of what a lens is you know what those aperture numbers and focal ranges all that means to them and why it might affect their shooting and stuff so i hope everybody liked this hope it's kind of informative and i hope it you know, explains a few things so if you like this video, have it a good thumbs up. Thumbs up so is highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber yet, you know, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. And let you know when I release more videos. <laughs> Until next time, everyone. You know, thanks for watching.